This bonus episode of the Dag Turning Podcast brought to you by Patreon. I've got the worst hangover of all time. Said some very regrettable things about the Queen in the last podcast. Um, something I didn't tell you when I was in Dubai, right? Mm-hmm. Um, we had a code for going for a shit. Right. So we're having dinner one day, and Ellen and Gabrielle, check her out, one of the funniest comedians of all time. Um, she, she just went, uh, okay, gentlemen, uh, I'm just going to go take care of a business. And we were like, you want for shit? She was like, yeah, right. <laughs> she said the funniest thing she ever heard. She was in like Darwin and this like big Aussie woman like yeah good I can't <laughs> so, like, so they're in this pub and she went I just gotta go bomb the Japs <laughs> so <laughs> bomb the Japs became cold for going for shit for, right and I one morning we came down for breakfast I was like sorry I'm late guys and Eleanor went will you bomb the Japs and I was like nah, I think I napalm the Red Kong though <laughs> <laughs> aged orange <laughs> oh it's some spicy with the balls Anyway, that's always good questions for patrons. Connor, fire love, away. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. <laughs> <coughs> right. Charlie, don't wipe. <laughs> uh, first question. Have you lads seen the Alex Jones indie song, Unreal Stuff? Uh, yes, I have seen it. I have not. We, uh, yeah, go and take a look at that. Okay. Right. Uh, have you heard about Seabat, dude? I, yes. I have not. Okay. This is a guy who wrote into Reddit. About um, it's actually very fucking funny. Actually, when you so I had seen this before this was sent in, so I didn't know it was called Seabat Dude. I just seen the post, mm-hmm. and it was a guy who said basically a long rant about you know the, uh, today I fucked up whatever, and it was basically his girlfriend had he had been playing the same song during sex with his girlfriend mm-hmm. for so long, but he didn't realize it was annoying her until she finished. It was really. One of the best bits of creative writing I've seen in a long time, and then you hear the song. Right. <laughs> it's fucking brilliant. Oh, what's the song? You couldn't describe it. Oh, it's right. the weirdest <laughs> fucking thing in the world, and it gets worse as the time goes on. But his whole description and the whole thing about, you know, I, I used the song as, as sort of my gauge for rhythm when I'm when I'm in the middle of it and all this. But it was written, I do that with skipping. <laughs> it was written that well, you actually believed it, and, oh. and a lot of people believed it, so that's why it went a bit viral. Do you find uh, you can't have music on when you're writing anymore? Yeah, because at some point a song is going to come on, it's going to make you laugh, and it ruins the moment. Oh no, no. Do you know what I mean? You've been halfway through, not if you, not if halfway you, through your tea, and baby, but got back comes on. You're like, fuck, better going to have to hit this and shuffle. Not if the right uh, playlist. Is you ever on had it? your hand up a woman, all of a sudden James Blunt comes on? You're like, fuck, I'm going to have to stop this. <laughs> Isn't it weird? My hands up something that rhymes with Blunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. When I said James Blunt, I was referring to her. <laughs> Yeah, not James Blunt. <laughs> Kiss along with your James Blunt. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> I'll probably be halfway up Blurt Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Blurt and Ernie. I, I have, uh, I think, well, we probably will be able to turn the music back on again. We had it turned off there for a while. Why? Because we, we have to hear... The lesson? You have to listen mm-hmm. out, just in case something else. So he wants to drink water in the middle of the night? Yes. Bad dreams? Yeah. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So maybe the playlist might come back in again. Oh, all right. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. Oh. It's even worse. You look well next to the night. <laughs> it's, even, it's even worse when there's actually no music playing, it's just me singing there. <laughs> Baby, I'm going to take it real slow. <laughs> oh, don't look at me. <laughs> right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> What's the thoughts on the new season of Cobra Kai? It's one of the only shows I've seen that is absolutely terrible but brilliant at the same time. Never watched a single episode. I, I watched the first episode. I've and watched started more. watching the new series, but I was in Dubai. I had to watch it on my phone. How so many series? Like I think it's up to like four or five now. Like, You've watched them all? Yeah. And yeah, yeah. it, it is shit. Like, it's really, really not a good show. But I guess I watched it. Initially, the first couple of episodes were class because... I'm going to start talking about Cobra Kai now, but like, because what happened initially was... The flip, who the good guys and who the bad guys. Yeah, I remember that whole thing. Yeah, so that, was, that was entertaining. Like now it's just gotten beyond a joke. Because um, it felt like fan fiction kind of, yeah, kind of yeah, thing, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, the first thing. I, know, it's, I think, it's, yeah, it's just, it could, the entire four series could be one series. Right. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of filler. Am I right in saying it was initially YouTube? No? Yeah. Um, but it's on Netflix, it's on Netflix now. now. Right, okay. So it was whenever YouTube tried to get YouTube Premium up and running, uh-huh. they made it. And then, everybody, because it was 15 quid a month for YouTube Premium. Yeah, people like something right yeah. and that's I just I just took YouTube Premium there recently. Seriously, the free month trial. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll cancel it today for. Oh, yeah, absolutely! But the difference, on no ads, unbelievable, no ads, unbelievable, maybe. Uh, right, 
Oh, so yes, um, it is a it is a bad show. Yeah, it's uh, terrible. terrible. Have you watched Barry? I've asked you to watch Barry. I've before. started watching Barry, and I mean, it's again, it's one of those shows where I go, I'm going to fucking. Yeah, you want to watch it? I want to watch, watch it. Watch it. Yeah. It's what's the other one? Fucking one of the best things I've seen in a while. Like, what's the one with uh, Michael Douglas as the acting coach? Oh, it's on Netflix. And oh, what the fuck is that called? Michael Douglas. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking fantastic. Is it new? Is it? It's yeah, like the last couple of years. All right, brilliant. Okay. Can't think of it. Something Schmidt. Want to say something Schmidt? No, it's not about Schmidt. No, that no, was it's not Jack that. Nicholson. Okay. I'll figure it out. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Uh, Damn. <laughs> yeah, no need to send us in the answer. We'll, we'll figure that out. Because somebody usually we ask a question of this, and then we get twenty answers. Yeah. And like, no, no, it's okay. We'll figure it out. Oliver? No, I'm alright. Uh, don't call me Vera. <laughs> <laughs> awesome show on Warren Point a few weeks, Mickey. A few weeks ago, Mickey. The sides are still sore from laughing. <laughs> Is there ever a metaphor for my hole right now? <laughs> <laughs> Just a wee dingleberry. <laughs> Oh, there we go. That's me. Oh, lovely. Right. Awesome show on Warren Point a few weeks ago, Mickey. Side are still sore from laughing so much. Whose feet are bigger? Deck chair or yums? Yums. Yums. You're, what are you size 12? Uh, 11 now. 11. Yeah. Feet getting smaller? I've I've figured out that... I turned that on wage stunt your ghost, sir. <laughs> I figured out that uh, I wouldn't have the length of a size 12 now, Mickey. I'll get you. I'm I'd have the girth I'm the of a size 12. I'm an awful oh. fat foot myself. Oh, a big oh. fat footed fucker. He'd wide socks, sir. Fat footed fucker. The alliteration mm. is hanging in there. Buddy. Fat and flat. Nice. I mean, you can walk across the pond, no problem, like a duck. <laughs> I have fucked up feet that I can come out of the ocean, walk back to my thing without getting sand on my toes. That's impressive. I can lift them way up the gas. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People keep in Dubai. Everybody's like, "Why are you wearing socks in the pool?" Because like, you do not want to see these things. <laughs> like a hobbit would look at my feet and go, "What the fuck's wrong with your feet?" <laughs> uh, right, lads. You need a monarch-themed rabbit non-special. Uh, no, we don't. I amongst many I am sure to hear your views on the. the, the what, what, okay, that's definitely not one. Okay, if you had to listen to the one radio station for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? It only has one. Sex music. Sex music? Is this good? I like Planet Rock. Planet Rock. Please, no. Do you, actually? No. I don't know. I'm only getting used to having a wee DAB radio in the well, car. Planet Rock's so better than maybe, like... Radio X! Like, yeah. I like ones that's, like, that scurry you. Oh, right, I mean? okay. <laughs> no, sex music all over. Classic that. hits. Oh, Planet uh, Rock. Well, that's, that's the DAB one, isn't it? Because mm. that's the thing, Sex Music is DAB, and that's why I could never have a non-DAB radio now, because there's no Sex yeah, Music. Even, even the... Do you know when you accidentally hit a button in the radio and it just starts going... And you're like, I can't, I can't turn it off, yeah, I'm going to crash. figure it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Atlantic oh. 252. <laughs> <laughs> Energy 106. Uh, Zodiac's oh. nightclub lurking. You could have... <laughs> <laughs> Then advert for Kelly's. In yeah. The of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you have? Uh, have you ever listened to the Sex Music? No. I don't think I have. It's unfucking believable. You're driving in the morning. You could have Biggie on, mm-hmm. followed by Arctic Monkeys, class, and then followed by Latvian fucking yodelers. <laughs> <laughs> Who are they? <laughs> or some fucking Lithuanian experimental fucking folk music. Aye. It's it's a uh, it's a great station. Anyway, right. Uh, any more live shows coming up, boys? And any news on the merch? Yes. Yeah, so I did talk about that when Mickey was taking the ship break last oh, what time. What about the merch? So the merch we have it uh, have it up onto the website. I haven't published it yet, but uh, we've five items that are ready to. And where are our ours? Our I thought ones? we're going to be here today. That's why they're not. So we're going to have them on us next week, and next week will be the launch. It's fucking better. Hope oh. it fits. So do I. Right, in the comedian's group chat, who is that one that sends in the weird videos? There's always one. My guess would be Patty McDonald. Correct. Yeah. Or me. Or you. Or me, <laughs> to be honest. Like, if Patty's is usually any, any scenes that you see in West Belfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and that time where the guy gets stabbed. The one, remember the oh, one? Oh, well, that, that was, yeah. That yeah, was rough. Yeah, like that the one rough. that made me keep a samurai sword in my bedroom. Yeah, that was a bit rough. But uh, um, usually the mad, like, yeah. Like really, I get a lot of sick ones. I have you to get say. sick ones if if it's homoerotic doppelganger. I'm always the one who starts that. You're, yes, that is absolutely true. <laughs> Which I haven't played for a while and I, I want to play again. Uh, I think it's because I've uh, similar to Patty is that I have a lot of friends who are absolute scumbags, I, <laughs> and like you boys wouldn't get those uh, scumbags hanging around you. You wouldn't speak to them, but I get some factory yeah, boys yeah, like send me stuff. Yeah, like, do you remember the worst? Remember the one. I think everybody's seen it. That guy got his fucking hand caught in that like big lathe. Uh huh. And then the guy just 
gets pulled in and ripped apart. Oh no! Have end. you seen that one? No. It's it's it, like it was so popular it's become a gif. <laughs> this dude literally just gets fucking <coughs> pulled into this thing. Jesus. And just like thrown about, like just bits of river. I have so I'm just thinking about one of the bad bastards that I were. One of the fellas I will not name him, but he works in a in a a, a factory. Right. And which factory? <laughs> his it? his tea break and his lunch break is him getting the fellas around the table and then <laughs> using uh what is the website? Some Irish website for escorts. Right. Ringing them. Right. For prices on things. How much for uh <laughs> <laughs> and it goes through the list of all these things. Like hand jobs, sock jobs. How much would it be if I came in your mouth and then you spat it all over my face? <laughs> right? These are the sort of things he'll ring up and they like give him prices. We need to do that next week. <laughs> Get the number. We are fucking doing that next week. <laughs> do you want to do that actually? I we would have wild crack with that. Do you know what the, my problem is? Because I'm hungover right now and a wee bit needy, I'd probably be like, Yeah, what would it cost if you came to Lurgan and just give me a wee cuddle? <laughs> You want the GFE? Aye. How, how did the girlfriend experience? <laughs> yeah. oh, I, oh, you've been on them fucking sites. I have no idea what it stands for. You know what it stands for. Yeah, yeah. Um, but look, me and Paddy McDonald talked about this. Right. Like, imagine getting the full girlfriend experience and you get a prostitute run, she just starts fucking texting your ma. <laughs> Doing. Now the full, or she walks in and goes, you wearing that? Aye, right, yeah. Now the full girlfriend <laughs> yeah, experience. Yeah, I'm the hand on. Come on, stay to this place. <laughs> Uh, yeah, right. The full girlfriend experience comes in, puts toothpaste on her spots, and starts complaining about her cramps. Like fuck me, what a waste of money this was. Uh, right, uh, crack lads. Okay. Met Mickey outside his Dublin gig last Monday. What a lovely bloke! Any plans for any gigs and creamy pints down here for deck chair and yums? Keep her little lads. I'm going to be down in December at some point. Good man. In a bar that I can't remember the name of. Um, so yes. Good stuff. In short. Look out for that. Follow Mickey on Instagram. You get all the details. I'll keep his posts. Yums, have you ever had any issues with neighbours when indulging with vitamins? Or do you think people from here don't really care? Uh, I don't know. Well, I, I, I've I lived in places where I was lucky in one of the houses I lived in. that The guy next door was also a, a fellow vitamin uh-huh. uh, consumer. But... Yeah, it can be difficult because it's it's not that people don't really care. It's just that, and as I'll say this to anybody that's smoking, it's very invasive, the smell. It is. If you're not somebody, if you're somebody that doesn't like it. Mm-hmm. Now, I know, I still know a lot of people, uh, especially older people who can smell if you're standing beside them and go, fuck, it's a weird smell or something. They don't, know what, don't know what it is. You know what I mean? But um, obviously, anybody under 50 was going to know what the smell is. So uh, I would just say be very, very careful. And especially um, kids. You know, if, you, if you're living next door to a family, think of the parents. They're going, Aye. fuck, I don't want my kids sitting smelling it. You know what I mean? So uh, if you have somebody they got, I would uh, do the edibles route or a vape yeah. rather than just cause an issue. Because... It's the it's one of my biggest complaints to the likes of the cops and stuff. Where I go, it's an easy fucking arrest. Aye, because you can smell it from five hundred yards away. My advice but to be fuckers, is, you can't smell coke. That's, that's just took words well, in my mouth. That's why the by, the, are by, by the time you smell coke, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> it's all done. We have such a coke problem that I say to the police, go and use, but you just don't do it because it's a hard fucking thing to do. You have to stop and search. Aye, or you have to have the dog or whatever. But it's easy to pick the fucking stoner in the street who's. Try and isolate himself away from Aye. whatever, um, but yeah, usually that's that's the thing. So be be respectful of people around you, and, and remember that a lot of people don't like it. Yeah, like even just the smell of it. Never mind the idea of it. Um, I fucking love it. If you want to move in next to me, work away. Uh, it's so passionate. We talk about weed. Once if we're talking about the king of Dubai, mm-hmm. wondering what the king does on his downtime while out there. We trip up the Burj a flight simulator in Dubai Mall, or would he be following me to the cheesecake factory and watch the sharks while being a chunky monkey? To be honest, I wish I had done more of that sort of stuff. Okay. Um, a lot of it was just masturbating. <laughs> and drinking. And drinking, yeah. Yeah, good enough. So a lot basically, of you could have stayed in Lurgan. Yeah, and also you couldn't get pornography on the hotel website. So I had to get creative. Oh, man. Oh, man. I had to go on to Reddit and all. Fucking. That's hard, like oh, it? And, and I, I just, I'm, not, I'm too old to memory wank. Oh, you can't do it. Do you know what I mean? I don't wrong. First wank, obviously, with a, with a hangover, is just with this. You're just getting it out of the way so you can... You know, no, I, click your spine back in the place. I used to get a crick in my neck. Like, if you had to do it... If, like, you, ha- if you backed up? Uh, like, no, if you had to imagine it yourself. Oh, I Fucking... Women are right. They've got the fucking... They can multi-fucking-tastic and... Uh, like, 
But a, a woman can get turned on by exactly, things. but they can men, men get turned on by visual, yes, sexual but things. They can a woman, fantasize. A woman the get fucking, turned on by like, oh my god, he put the fucking he put the dishwasher in properly. Like they, they can fantasize about a fucking uh, like the level of detail they can go into their fantasy. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can't. We just don't have that. No, ability. We've like, one job. Want to see Diddy shaking? Oh, that's it. Get them fucking. Pull your checks apart and let me look up it. Bouncing. <laughs> How much would it be if you <laughs> <laughs> just pull your chicks apart and let me look up it? Up it. Up it. <laughs> how much is a rectum inspection? <laughs> Made it tell you, Deirdre. How, how much would it be? <laughs> Doesn't even finish the word be. How much would it be now? Let me, let me think. If I was to come in <coughs> with two potato waffles. <laughs> Tied to my ears, <laughs> and you, you would smash them with your thighs, <laughs> but then you let me lock up it. That's all he wants to do. <laughs> How much would it be for you to dress the like Guardian Foster for me to come in in a tell Celtic top? I tell you what, I want to do. I want to use your asshole like a hotel room door. Just who is that? I just want to. I just want to peep. peep the, who's that? I lock up the hall, down the hall, up the hall, down the hall. Who is that? That's all I want to do, Deirdre. Much. And stick a card in at the end. <laughs> Cash, or you, do you take PayPal? I've a Revolut card there somewhere. <laughs> Revolut. Yeah, tell me this now. I'm watch- <laughs> a Revolut hoop. <laughs> what would it be now if I was to come in with a kettle full of butter? <laughs> but no bread. And you just howl it, and I, all I do is look up it. Oh, right. Did I tell you, I have two dildos there tied together like a pair of nunchucks, right? What would it be? If you swing them about, shout cowabunga, dude. And then I just look up it. That's all I do. <laughs> just look up it. Did I tell me this now? What would it be you go for something to eat? Take you out. Three course meal. Whatever you want in the menu. It's on me. Right? We'll go up the stairs of the hotel room there. You wash yourself. I'll wash myself. I get into bed. And I'll just look up it. <laughs> Do you know sign language? <laughs> no, it doesn't matter no, if you do, you don't. The guttern has to be cleaned. <laughs> tell, tell, <laughs> what, tell you what I want to do. I don't want a dirty right? guttern. <laughs> Listen, I don't know what you get up to in the Ukraine. Sorry for your trouble. You, you fellas are getting wild battling out there. But I have an idea. Me and you, two bottles of wine in a soft plate area. <laughs> and all I'm not wanting to do now, I just look up it. <laughs> I go down the big slide and you're at the end. <laughs> And I slide through like that. I love ice skate. And I, I, and I just lock up it. What, what are we talking here, Dave? <laughs> My name is Paul. Sorry, wrong number, lad. <laughs> I want to use you like a phone book. What do you mean? I just want to look up, <laughs> look up it. Oh, fuck you. Right. Uh, Mickey, following Dubai. Tell me this, dude. Is, <laughs> stop it. Stop it. We'll if you bend over day. at the right angle and open your mouth, if I look up it, can I see out? <laughs> The other end. <laughs> like a fucking periscope. Why? <laughs> Go ahead, sorry. Oh, following Dubai, is there anywhere else in the world you'd love to perform? Uh, Australia. I'm going to Australia again. Oh, yeah, Australia, Australia Perth. Yeah. Fucking nearly sold out. Um, I don't know. LA, maybe New York. Okay. Um... I think you'd be more suited to New York than LA, wouldn't you? I mean, your comedy style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I'd love to do. I'd love to do like the comedy cellar in New York, mm. and then Radio City Musical. Like, I'd like to. All right, all right. Just, just, just a wee small venue. I'd like to fully be like, "You're lucky I'm in here," because in ten minutes I have to be over there. Oh <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we all love. To yeah, play. that'd probably be the sort of. Uh, I don't really this, know. this sort of sums up when you take two questions in a row. Mm-hmm. It sort of sums up this relationship. So, Mickey, following Dubai, is there anywhere else in the world you'd like to perform? Next question. Had a pasty yet, Connor? Have you had a pasty yet? <laughs> no. I saw pasties no, in Tesco's. I know you bought a packet to bring Well, up, like, somebody has, they have sent me pictures of them, and mm-hmm. I'm looking and going, they look fucking rotten, man. You haven't lived. Is there a chippy up there, by the way? I don't know. to be chippy for it. I don't know. You get a, you get a bar. I, I, I have a family to feed, Mickey. Fuck your family. <laughs> I'm hungover. <laughs> fucking starve, Ruby. <laughs> Mickey was fucking dying, you can't. Right, uh, Connor. Ever thought about doing more music outside of the Commitments Project? As Niall, Matt, and the boys and the Rockets would tell you, there's money to be made at the weddings. However, they may leave out how soul destroying it is. 
Uh, yeah, well, Matt's not in the Rockets anymore, so catching up on that one. Um, I don't know. Uh, no would be the answer to that. Oh, actually, I'm lying. I am. I am. I'm fucking doing something. I got roped into singing at something on the 17th of December in Oma, and I uh, don't know what I'm singing. I don't know what it is, where it is, so there you are. So follow me for more information <laughs> because I need to find out myself what it is. But, oh, I'm, we're, but the, the, the band is playing, but you're away. I'm away for this. It's the 5th of November in, in the INF. In yeah, I'll be Oma. flying back. Oh, you're actually on the way back. No, oh, I'll, I'll be away. in Sydney. I'll okay. be in Sydney out there. Um, so the sorry. 29th of December. You'll be there for that. Yeah, that's for Christmas and weird. You know yourself. Uh, right. Uh, Mick, after partying with the Sheikhs in Dubai, have you had the <laughs> partying with the Sheikhs? In Dubai? Right. The Sheikhs after his party. <laughs> Do you, have you had the chance to bounce through Cobra Kai yet past season yet? So good, I watched it twice. Okay, they are. We talked about that. No, yeah. Maggie, for your Australian tour, are you not coming to Brisbane? No, I think I'm going to be in the Gold Coast with the with the roadshow thing. Okay. Um, that's as close to Brisbane as I'm getting. Okay. As far as I know, so I no. have zero knowledge of the geography of I'm Australia. I don't um, know which coast is which. Sydney's that end, Perth's that end. Like I know which was east and which was west. I, I don't know who's which cities is on. My which. advice: just look for if you can fly to Sydney or Perth, go to those solo shows because I'll be doing an hour. I'll be no off fucking shite hogs oh, pulling me down. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Hi, lads. Hope you're both well. Thankfully, I'm only in the office in Belfast one day a week, but find it hard to resist the cream buns in the local bakery. You can't nearby. call them on anymore, man. <laughs> What's your favorite? Called black bastards. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite bun or tray bake from a bakery? Almond coated fresh cream eclairs are mine. I love almond uh, coated fresh oh, cream. Shit, I don't, yeah. See, fresh cream gets I'm not me. a big fan of fresh cream. I love just a gravy ring. Mm-hmm. Now, I mean, a gravy ring, not a donut. Do the difference? No, we're talking about buns. That's, all right, all right, all right. Do you know what I mean? Um, That's what I call my... I love... <laughs> fuck, I just got that. <laughs> uh, I, 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 was, I love a good caramel square. I love a 15. I'm a... Love a 15. I'm a 15 convert. Mm-hmm. I came to them about 10 years ago, and uh-huh. I have to say now, I would, yeah, I would source out a 15. Do you know what I love as well? A jammy joey. All right, messy, but same as the 15, messy yeah. as fuck. I also love it's a snowball. I love, I love an old messy coconut See, it's that old desecrated coconut. Tell me this here now, right? <laughs> coconut finger, stroke iced finger. Mm-hmm. Do, you, do you bother them? I have done in the past, yes. Yes. N- not a fan of that. Uh, it's, it's all right. Mm. It's all right. I wouldn't do it with the cream ones, do I? You don't butter a cream finger. No, no, Jesus. Oh, no, so they're slippy enough. Um, my favourite pastry of all time, mm-hmm. and thanks to your good self, I know about these, mm-hmm. the toffee-flavoured yum-yums from Littles. Christ almighty. Yum-yums Is there by Littles yum- in Fintan? Yum-yums by nature. No, there's one in Oma that's nearly finished. It's open now. We're going to have a massive one. You're getting a big, new big little one. Not so much a little, oh, more a, a, a oh, lot. That's a lot. I'll have to call it a lot. The size <laughs> they, they, <laughs> Imagine the canoes you can buy there. Dear, did I tell you what we're doing now? Me and How you, much would it be? Me, me and you's going to Little to get a canoe. We'll go home, we'll put the canoe in the bath, and I just look up. How <laughs> much would it be to go to Lock Iron? Stand, stand at the front like the we wee dog in the picture and go, fellas. <laughs> just to look it up. I tell you what, we're going to the, the Oyster Festival here, and. Uh, what we'll do is, I don't know if you're a fish hitter yourself, but there's a fella I know who does a lovely stout. We'll go, we'll go, we'll, we'll get a bowl of soup, a bit of wheat bread. We'll go back to my hotel there and I'll tell you all I want to do now. Just look up it. <laughs> Ma, it's a good deal. Much. <laughs> can I look? Can I have a, squ- I can I have a squint at it now? <laughs> <laughs> Put a deposit down. <laughs> can we do this over Zoom? <laughs> I just want to look up it. I just don't believe you. <laughs> I know a guy who was the um, a competitive eater of oysters in Guinness. Mm-hmm. There was like a... You had to see how many pints of... Uh, uh, no, it's a pint of Guinness and how many oysters you can do in 20 seconds or 15 seconds. Right. And he had like a... The pint was gone three seconds and he had like 15 fucking oysters gone. And it was mental. But th- there was a full UK competition in his hell. Oh, yeah. I met the guy who held the world record for eating right. oysters right. when we did Monumental. Um, and he was. He says those companies just bins. Everybody has their own bin uh-huh. because of you just fucking bulk yeah. eat that many. And they have to put vasium in the sides of their mouths, right? Because the shells cut the fucking lips. <sighs> yeah, oysters. It's a speed. Of I would n- never in my. F- I could never eat an oyster. Oh, I love them. Do you know? Oh, do you chew them or do you mm-hmm. just fucking slot it down? I can do both. 
Because two of them is kills them because they're still alive, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Well, my face. Uh, well, you know, alive. You know. It's that's the, just the flame of the ocean. Oh no, man! It's fuck up. I looks like somebody gobbed in a fucking bit of lemon dish. juice, bit of Tabasco sauce. Oh, I'd rather fucking pour the Tabasco sauce had, down my dick. Have you ever had deep fried oysters? No. Then you know they're hot. Then they're cooked. They're still, battered. Like no, no. The idea of it. I also oh, I can't eat prawns anymore. Oh, fuck up. Because I saw a prawn next cooked, to coleslaw. And I was like, cunts oh. of eyes. I fucking can't eat any eyes. Like, what? They still have eyes. Prawns are all. Don't. <laughs> what does a cow have? <laughs> fucking fillets. <laughs> 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 nobody's, nobody's ever put a cow down in front of me and went, what bit do you want? <clears throat> do you know what I mean? Oh, have you never sucked the head of a fr- prawn? Dirty bastard. Have you never not? Oh, <laughs> sir. Slut. Sir. The... Suck the head of it? Aye. Oh, you're you ever get like shit? The other night, me and Tyler suck the head of two prawns, and then me and Connor's gonna look up it. What do you mean suck the head of it? You know, I don't know how to eat them. Right. All right. Okay. So if you're talking the full prawn, as in uh-huh. its full shape, normally you wouldn't get that. Like a prawn cocktail, they're all yeah, yeah. pre cooked and all that stuff. But a raw, full prawn, you would twist it and break it off to get the meat, and then suck the brains and all that crack out of the. Uh. <laughs> you ever do? Honestly, no. If you get like a right. not a paella, what do you call that fucking like a jambalaya type thing or like a. The Creole thing, like the yeah, suck all the brains and all that. Oh, mate, you have Creole bastards. I'm, I'm glad Hurricane Katrina wiped that place out. <laughs> Jesus. That's you the prawns lived. revenge. Well, that's where all the again. I'd love, to, I'd love to try lobster, but oh, somebody would have to pick it all out for me. Uh, well, that was my problem. I had the, the privilege of having Maine lobster mm-hmm. in Maine, the state of Maine, mm-hmm. and then Maine again, going right? The, pro- <laughs> the, the, the main problem I had, right. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, they they give you a bib with instructions on it because there's that much juices Aye. and stuff squirts out of the fucking thing, and I just got that frustrated with the bag. Give, give me a steak. Aye. So well, I, I think you done it before. I was eighteen, like, and I Aye. gave up a fucking main lobster because I couldn't work out how to fucking eat the bass Uh I think I was at the brains part that shouldn't have been at. You know that. Mm-hmm. Have you ever had snail? No, but I would imagine it's similar to like an oyster type thing. thing. What about like cockles and mussels? Alive, alive, oh, have no. you had them? No. You haven't, oh, man. You I, haven't. I can't do it. Like a cockle mussel? No. Oh, sir. Right. So, roll map of the question. A what? A roll map? It's a roll map. Uh, pickled herring and jelly. Suck my fucking asshole. All right. Pickled herring. It's two of my wor- least favourite words. <laughs> <laughs> you know anything with the word pickled in front of it makes me just go, nah, I'm all right, thank you. <laughs> pickled herring. Fuck, clean off. Ugh. You piece of shit. <laughs> I was uh, all this stuff was introduced to me in London. They would I eat would it all in dirty acres. Like, like, uh, you think they'd fucking be enough, happy enough all the potatoes they stole? Like when I think <laughs> when I think of the the, the fisherman who came around the pub on a Friday with a basket of like cockles and mussels, and these boys just Aye. buying away at it and eating away. And in fairness, they converted me. I have to say, pickled eels, fucking. pickled eggs, last word. Pickled eels was the other one. I uh, but the, yeah, didn't like the pickled eels. Now I just find them too chewy. But the cockles and mussels now, every time you come in, I was like, get me over here, get me a bowl of them things. Lovely. No one with hot mussels, you ever had them? Not apart from your own. <laughs> like a, a bowl of... No. no? no I'm not, I'm, I can't do it. But have you had them? No. You, but I know... I'm, what do you mean you can't do it if you haven't had them? It's, there's something about... Right, okay, you're going to fucking think it's weird again, right? Are we, go, are we going back, the the co- the back to coleslaw again? Right? It's, it's the word mussels that makes me go, that's gross. And cockles. I'm like, that just sounds gross. If chicken was called cockles, I wouldn't eat chicken. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I'm weird. There. I'm fucking insane. Cold sauce looks too much like cold sore. Oysters look too much like fucking snot. <laughs> and I'm not eating cockles or mussels. And if you say pickled anything, I'm not having it. If you go here, Mick, do you want a pickled fillet steak? I would go, you can get the fuck out of my house. Oh, right. Yeah. Pickled onion monster munch? Don't come near me. Don't be like, uh, Not even pickled. Oh. W- Walker's pickled onion? No pickled onion. No pickled onion. Man. I'm not allowed them because I'm not. Uh, my wife hates the smell of mm-hmm. my breath after them. Yeah, I hate them. Um, so I usually. If I've bought a six pack, I usually start a fight. Uh huh. Because then she won't be talking to me and I can eat them a piece. Gotcha. But uh, I can't believe you don't like. It's the, it's the warden. It's the pickles. Is it the warden? Honestly, it's not actually the. Like, yeah, if they have pickled it onions. Freaks, it freaks me out. Actual pickled onions. <laughs> You think I'm going to eat a raw pickled onion? Do you know nothing about me? We have, we have fucking need to talk. If you think I would eat a pickled onion. Right, do you eat pickled beetroot? No. <coughs> How can I be more clear? 
<laughs> Sorry, do you eat beetroot? <laughs> no. If the word pickled <laughs> is on the jar, I'm not bad at it. Right? <coughs> what about pickle lily? No. I, I, I won't drink kombucha, even though it's good for the gut. Tastes like fucking oh, right, okay. pickle runoff. No way. I, my family love pickled onions. I used to watch my fucking dad and sister Crunch just fucking it. sticking a fork into oh, a jar. Man. I'm like, you fucking wretched, wretched people. Your, your people have class. That's I don't have class. Have. Who eats fucking stuff out of a jar? That's how working class we were, by the way. Yeah, exactly. Call me middle. You are middle class. You don't even have a fucking... Everything pickled is just beneath you. It's not beneath Fuck me. Up. It's just disgusting. That's what us poor people had to do to keep our vegetables for a long time. You know what? I'm an alcoholic. I won't even let my liver get pickled. <laughs> <laughs> Too late for that, I'll my sell friend. the fucking thing before I do that. <laughs> <laughs> right, all right, lads. If you, oh, fuck, what a question. If you had to describe your last shite with a movie title, what would it be? Pickle Onions. <laughs> <laughs> my, my last shite with a movie title. Uh, JFK. <laughs> no, I'm saying. Unstoppable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Blow. Journey to, the, <laughs> journey to the center of the earth. <laughs> yeah, Fallen Kingdom. That fucking. Get hard. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Deep Impact. <laughs> <laughs> Armageddon. I didn't want to say it. <laughs> yep. Right. Uh, is Tori from Cobra Kai and Kong get his wife the same person? <laughs> All right, okay. They must look alike, do they? Oh, well, there's a wee bit of a... Is there? Mo about her, yeah. Uh, right. Next up. What's the story with King Charles Fingers? They look like it should be chopped off. Story, Mickey. I know hands. Sorry, Mickey. I know hands are touchy subject for you. So we were talking after the last. We don't hands think it's are a, touchy subjects for Prince Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hands are touchy for everybody. Yeah. They um. It's. I not, think it's arthritis. No, we were talking in the break. It's gout. Oh, was it gout? It looks to be. I am never saying yeah. It could be gout. Can you get gout in your hands? That's usually where it goes to joints like so fingers and toes usually get. Oh, you know. well, the other fucking rich man's mm-hmm. disease. Fucking guts out. No. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Bonjour. What music book or thing did you love when you were growing up, but now you hate? I was a big U two fan when I was a teenager. Yeah. And then sort of up to about eighteen, nineteen, and now I'm like at the point where I can't really look at Bond that anymore. That entire new metal phase. Limp Bizkit, Stained. Oh yeah. Fuck. Oh, that shit. Mm. It's embarrassing to look back on. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I had some really bad taste in music. Like oh, I, I still do. I, I mean, oh, I'll say this right now. I love Creed. With arms wide open. Fucking. Come here, boys. Come in. The other day, we're going to see Creed. <laughs> he was just a poor man's Eddie Vedder, wasn't he? he was oh, like, yeah, don't worry. There's that all entire. Yeah. See, this is where the, like, remember the rumor started where people said I didn't like Eddie Vedder? I didn't like Pearl Jam? Uh. And I went, no. I don't like everybody that sang like Eddie Vedder after Pearl yeah. Jam. Uh, yeah, everybody tried to be him. They can try to copy right. him. Like, uh, Jeremy! Oh, fuck him, Jeremy. <laughs> oh, fuck, Jeremy. Uh, books, why, again, I was a mad Stephen King fan, and I won't have him anywhere near me. I won't. Mm. Just for him personally. I don't Aye. like him, but uh, yeah, I used to love his books. I have a wild collection. Aye. You used to get vaccinated off a lot when I was wee. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that bombshell. <laughs> Is that the last question? That's the last question, yeah. Happy days. Right, thanks very much for listening. Uh, shout out to Imperial Studios. Give them we follow on social media. I'm going to go really, just really think about my life. Yeah, that will be a good, uh, long, hard thing. And I do apologize for anybody who can hear my lungs through this microphone, but I'm pretty sure... Well, I think they're... If we're talking about wheezy lungs, I think they're used to it now with me here, like in fairness. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, this, I, can hear, I, I can hear my own voice. When you're talking, you can't really hear yourself. I'm like, is that what I sound like? <laughs> I'm having a proper existential crisis. There's times I hear us laughing, and it's like, remember Dick Dasterly and Motley? It's like two Motleys fucking competing against each other. That's that's, that's stinging. Was that only half an hour for that one as well? Was it half an hour? We're blasting through these awful quick today. It may be, but it was 20, that was 21 Ah, questions. Don't worry about it. We don't even let them know. Don't don't peer behind the curtain, folks. (laughs) Lessons, lovely talking to you. See you next week. Dear the day, we're looking up it.